Hey first grade, today you're going to be making a press and smear painted owl head. So these are two examples, I know you can't fully see them, but I just wanted you to see them kind of side by side. Um, depending on how you put the paint on the paper, it will either come out like this one, where it kind of looks almost like there's different feathers everywhere, or you'll get this um, rainbow effect. So I'm gonna show you how to do both of those. You are going to receive a white sheet of paper and a brown sheet of paper, but we're gonna start with the white one. Make sure you write your name and your teacher's name on the back before you begin. Then you are going to take your paper, you're going to fold it hamburger style. So basically you're folding it into a square. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do wanna make sure that you push down on that seam. So that way, when you flip it open, you can see that crease there. You're gonna take your pencil and you're going to draw a circle on one side of the crease that actually touches the crease right there, okay? Circle doesn't have to be perfect. You're not even gonna see it, honestly. Um, but you just wanna make sure that it's on that one side, no circle over here, okay? Then you're gonna get your paints. And if you are going to do, I'm gonna start this one. If you're gonna make yours like kind of rainbow style, you're gonna start with a color in the middle. So I'm just gonna pick a color for the middle, just like that. And if you look, I'm kind of scooping the paint out and then putting it on the paper. So I'm scooping and it's really super thick. You're gonna get a paper towel as well. And you're gonna use your paper towel to clean off your paintbrush. Then you are going to pick another color and you are going to kind of paint in like a circle around that center circle. And you're gonna keep going round and round, round and round, okay? Um, with different colors until you're happy and then you'll be done. But if you don't want that look and instead you're looking for something more like this, um, you know, like I said, it kind of looks like feathers, feathery look, you are going to make dots. So same method, you're gonna scoop and you're gonna dot it. Scoop, dot, scoop, dot, just like that. See how much paint I'm using? Okay, it's really like, almost like if I were to kinda pour it on there in little drops, but we're not gonna do that because that will make a big mess. So you're just gonna add dots. Um, notice I'm staying inside the circle that I drew. Again, paper towel. Dry off your paintbrush before you pick a new color. And you're gonna fill in most of the area that um, that's inside that circle that's white, okay? It doesn't have to be 100% filled in because when you press it and smear it, all those colors are gonna mix. Um, but you don't wanna mix it on your sheet now because then they'll mix too much and you'll end up with this like gray color and it won't be it won't be as interesting as the other ones. You won't see those, those different colors. It'll all just be one. So I'm gonna keep adding some dots. So once I feel like I'm totally happy with the way that it looks, I know right now it looks a little weird, um, you're gonna take your paper and you're gonna fold it again. And then you're gonna take your finger and you are going to press and smear. Press and smear. Press and smear. Press and smear. And when you're ready, check it out. Isn't that amazing looking? I love it. All right, so now we have um, our kind of like background for the eyes, but we have to add in the pupils. So pupils are black. Again, you're gonna dip your paintbrush in the paint. This time you're just dipping. You don't need to scoop because you're gonna paint on both sides. So you're gonna paint a black circle on both eyes, right in the middle, just like that. You wanna to try, to, try to make them the same size on each. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. No one's gonna notice if they're not exactly the same. Okay, clean off your brush. Now, when light hits the eyes, whether it's in a person or an owl or any other animal or bug, um, it reflects. So you're gonna use some white and you're gonna just dab it on there. So just dot, that, just like that. You're not gonna press it together again, you're just gonna leave it right like that, okay? So you can kind of see now, it's starting to look like two eyes. Now, you're going to get a brown sheet of paper. If it's not cut into a strip already, I would like you to cut it into a strip because it makes it easy to cut out triangles. And you are going to start on the corner and cut a triangle. So basically, you're cutting off the corner. So again, starting at a corner, 
cutting. And I kind of flip it, like alternating, like almost like if I were to draw zigzags up and down, that's how I'm cutting. Okay, just like that. You really only need three, but you can cut them all and that way you can kind of look at them and decide, okay, I want these for the ears, this for the nose. So you're gonna pick um, two for the ears and then you're gonna pick one for the beak. So I like these two for the ears and I'm gonna use Let's see, this one for the beak. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. You're gonna get your glue stick and you are going to glue on the nose. So just like this, add in some glue. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm going to glue it right towards the bottom there. So about where my two circles meet. Okay, you can see I've added the nose there. Then I'm going to add in my ears. So I'm going to glue and I'm gluing up at the corners. One and then the other one. Two, just like that. Okay, so we're almost done. We're going to go back to the paint and what I want you to do is use some black. You're going to paint some nostrils. So you're just doing two little dots. Just doot, doot. There's your little nostrils. And we're gonna clean the paintbrush and you're gonna pick a couple colors to add in for the ear fur. So you're kind of just going along the same shape of the triangle. Side, side. And then you're gonna pick a color for inside. It's like the fur and then the inside of the ear. Just like that. And our little owl is ready. So. Once you're all done, you're gonna raise your hand. I will come collect it, put it on the drying rack so that it can dry and we can hang it up and then you guys can take home your beautiful press and smear owl head. I love these. I think they're so awesome. I cannot wait to see what you guys do. Have fun.